We have this story coming out of big tech and Serbia. Twitter is cracking down on Serbian media and Serbia is sending a warning to Twitter. What you have now is a dozen Serbian media outlets have been labeled by Jack Dorsey's Twitter as state affiliated. That means when you go to their profile, you're gonna see underneath that profile picture and in the bio, state affiliated. That's what you're gonna see when you visit Serbian media profiles on Twitter. Twitter started doing this back in August. They started putting the state affiliated moniker underneath the, uh, the profile in the bios in August of 2020. And they were doing this in preparation of the US presidential election because Twitter was doing everything that they could, everything that was in their power to make sure that Trump lost and that uh, Sleepy Joe would win. And one of the things that Twitter concocted, one of the things they thought up was, you know what, let's go after media outlets say Chinese media outlets, say Russia Today, especially Russia Today, which did have, uh, which does have a good social media presence. Let's go after them because they're critical of uh, Sleepy Joe and let's put state affiliated underneath their profile. And that's what they did. So the, one of their first targets was Russia Today. And uh, Russia Today, the Russian government, was pissed off about that. And you had President Putin actually coming out with a statement and calling out the hypocrisy because what Putin said and what uh, the editor-in-chief of Russia today said is, okay, Twitter, you're going to put this state-affiliated label on us. Fine. And it's true. RT is state-affiliated. There's no doubt about that. They are fully funded by the Russian government and by the Kremlin. Fully funded. But the point that the editor-in-chief at the time of Russia Today was saying and that Russian President Putin was saying when he was talking about this issue, he said, if you're going to put the label state affiliated underneath our profile, then you should do the same with the BBC. You should do the same with uh, France 24, for example. There's a lot of media outlets, foreign media outlets that are state funded, state backed, that don't have that, uh, that label on Twitter, right? Makes sense. If you're going to put state affiliated under Russia Today, you should put state affiliated under the BBC as well. But Twitter didn't do that and they're not doing that, even though the BBC is funded by the UK taxpayer uh, GBP, UK taxpayer pounds. So obviously you can see the bias and the hypocrisy. Everyone at the time knew what this was about and it was about uh, damaging RT's credibility in the Twitter ecosystem. But now you have uh, Twitter going after Serbian media this is interesting. Why are they going after Serbian media at this time? I don't know. That one I cannot answer, but it is interesting that they're starting to, uh, to label Serbian media as state affiliated. Now, obviously, Serbia has a close connection with, uh, with Russia, but uh, why go after their media at this moment in time? The only thing that I can think of is that a campaign is gearing up to, uh, to go after Serbia in general maybe to try and push Serbia to change leadership so that they can get someone in place who will push Serbia into NATO and into the EU. I don't know, but um, Twitter nonetheless is now going to be labeling Serbian media as state affiliated. Now, the Serbian president and the Serbian media channels were not happy with this. <laughs> That's an understatement. So one of the, uh, the Serbian media publications called The Informer actually said that Twitter is a propaganda machine of war. That was a headline from the, uh, the Informer. They also uh, ran an interview with a pundit who claimed that US-based social media networks were doing the same thing NATO bombers did in 1999. So this pundit that the Informer interview, interviewed actually went on there and said that uh, Twitter is no different than the NATO bombers in 1999. The informer actually, by the way, is generally considered favorable to the current president, Alexander Vucic and his party, the SNS, the Serbian Progressive Party. Speaking of Vucic, of the president of Serbia, this is what he had to say when he found out that Twitter was gonna be labeling media in Serbia as state affiliated. And I quote, who else should they cooperate with? Oligarchs, thieves, and criminals. It's the most normal thing for the media to cooperate with the government. 
We don't even fund most of these outlets as a state, but they fund Voice of America and the BBC, and they are not labeled state media, which leads me to wonder who is doing the censorship here. Good point. Good point on Voice of America. Um, PBS is American state funded. NPR. There are a lot of outlets in the U.S. that are state funded. CNN is deep state funded. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that CNN is just an extension of uh, the U.S. deep state, the U.S. intel agencies, and uh, an extension of, of the Democrat Party to a certain extent. But definitely CNN is a deep state asset, a deep state tool. That there's no doubt about. So maybe we should put under CNN, deep state affiliated. That's a different video. So Vucic also came out and he said this, the president of Serbia said this, I can't wait for them to ban my account so I can be another Trump in the world. That is pretty boss for Vucic. I've, I've just, uh, my respect for Vucic has just grown by a lot when he comes out and he says a statement like that. Good on you, Alexander Vucic, good on you. Uh, look, uh, Twitter's done this, like I said, now Russia, China, now Serbia. They haven't done this to the BBC, they haven't done this to DW, the German outlet. Pure hypocrisy, pure freaking hypocrisy. And uh, the Serbian radio television, RTS, actually pointed out this hypocrisy in a statement. They said that Twitter labeling them as state affiliated is scandalous, and they did it without even notifying them. They didn't offer any serious uh, argument-based explanation. That's, that's according to RTS, Serbian radio television. They also haven't told uh, RTS how to remove the state affiliated label. You can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll answer that for you, RTS. You can't remove it. And RTS said they're trying to reach out to someone, but there's no one to reach out to. If anyone's had any experience with these big tech companies, whether it's Google or uh, Facebook or Twitter, they have the absolute freaking worst non-existent customer service in the entire world, bar none. There is no industry, no other companies in the world that have a worse client service than these big tech companies. They do that on purpose, by the way. They purposefully don't have good customer service. They don't want to provide customer service because they engage in cheap, underhanded stuff like what you're seeing Twitter do right now. So RTS said that the move is also insulting to Twitter users who are considered incapable of drawing their own conclusions about the content they read and follow. That's the whole point, RTS. That's why Twitter does this. Propaganda. They want to manipulate their users' minds, their users' thoughts. They want their user to go and see RTS's Twitter profile and have that label that says state affiliated, and they want to tarnish your reputation. That's the whole point. They want to label you a state media propaganda tool. That's what they want people to, to come away with when they see your Twitter feed. And also don't forget that when Twitter does this, this is, you know, that, that circular feedback loop that these guys generate. So Twitter labels RTS state affiliated or they label the informer or RT state affiliated. Then the New York Times or the Washington Post, when they wanted to bunk a story from RT or RTS or whatever it is, they come out with the line, well, tw state affiliated RTS said, da -da -da -da, and right away, your reputation supposedly is tarnished. Right away, your reporting is called into question. That's the point of it, is they put this state-affiliated label on you, and then the other mainstream media outlets, the, uh, the approved mainstream media outlets, the Washington Post, New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, these guys, they pick up on it. They're consulted about it. So when they do reports on RT or RTS, and they want to debunk an RT story, they just put, well, state-affiliated RT, you see? State affiliate, yeah, Twitter says it's state affiliated. Facebook says it's state affiliated, so it must be state affiliated, right? It's just that feedback loop that these guys create. It's just pure propaganda. They're the real propagandists. They're the ones that are tricking people. So that's what uh, Twitter has done to Serbia. And uh, it's, it's very interesting, the timing of this. Very, very interesting. The timing of this. By the way, RTS has also said that they're going to stop posting on Twitter. Good for you. Stop posting on Twitter. I agree with that, uh, with that strategy. The interesting part about all of this as well is that a lot of the Serbian media space 
from what I gather, is not even um, pro-Russia, a lot of it, or pro-East, pro-China even. A lot of it is owned by Western companies. I'm looking here at some of the companies. Uh, Ring, Gear, Ring Gear, Axel Springer, Media AG, KKR Global, a company which is actually associated with CNN, with a CNN affiliate, and one, they, they also own uh, the SBB, Cable Distribution Network. There, there's a lot of companies, I'm looking at this list right now, which are German or US or foreign based that own a lot of the media companies in Serbia. But it's not about, it's not about, uh, if I was a media company, don't take it personally. RTS or Informer or even RT. It's not about actually going after after your company, your network per se. It's about building a propaganda narrative. That's what it's about. That, that's it. Things that come out of Russian media is state affiliated, hence it's bad, hence it can't be trusted. Stuff coming out of Serbia is uh, state affiliated, hence it's bad, hence it can't be trusted. It's propaganda. But stuff coming out of CNN and the Washington Post and MSNBC and the BBC and the Guardian. Well, that's independent media, supposedly independent media, and that's good and that can be trusted. But it's the exact reverse in today's world. Maybe 30 years ago, that was true. But in today's world, I would trust RTS Informer, which I, ha I don't even follow these, uh, these media outlets, but I would trust RTS Informer and RT, which I do follow, I would trust them a hell of a lot more than I would trust CNN, The Washington Post, the BBC, The Guardian, etc. But um, that's the trick. That's the trick that Twitter's up to. They're doing this in collusion with the deep state, in collusion with uh, mainstream media. And uh, it's just part of the game. The solution is to continue to support platforms outside of big tech. That's the solution. RTS, that's the solution. Informer, and that's the solution RT. RT has not done a very good job, by the way, of supporting platforms outside of big tech. Um, RT runs a very big advertising budget with big tech as well. So who knows? Anyway, guys, that is the video, the Duran.locals.com. Since we're talking about companies that are not big tech associated, go to our locals page, the Duran.locals.com. Go to Super U. Go to Odyssey, go to Big Bitch Shoot, go to Rumble, Informer, RTS, and RT. Are you listening? Support us there. Support us on those platforms. And go to the Duran shop. Pick up a t-shirt. I'm wearing a Russia flag t-shirt today. But I've got a USA mug. I also have a Serbia mug, but today I didn't pull that one out which is interesting because I'm talking about Serbia. So anyway, guys, that is the video. You'll find all those links down below. Take care.